Today we're having a look at Time Carnage on Xbox One. Now this is developed and published by Wales Interactive. It's rated 16 and above. It's a shooter. It was out on the 12th of September. Single player only. Currently on the Xbox Store for $7.99. Usual price $9.99. So if you want to pick it up now, you've got a little bit of discount there. We're going to leave a link in the description for that one. So the description says it's a frantic survival way of shooter with a weapon charge and reload system. Travel through time and wreak havoc through worlds swarming with dinosaurs, monsters, robots and zombies. Unlock and upgrade your arsenal to, to survive the onslaught. Choose your weapons wisely as you'll manically swap out active guns on the fly in a 16 tier campaign or custom arcade mode complete with perks, challenges and mystery items. It says that each zone you'll have to handpick a selection of guns to suit your playstyle and battle with a timed reload system as you unlock an arsenal of over 25 big and match dual wielding weapons. So, sounds good. This is our very first look at it as well. So we're just going to jump right in. So straight away we can adjust the settings. So you can bring it up. You can see the, see the Wales Interactive Dragon there. So once you're happy with that, you can just press A to continue. So you get your stats, arcade, campaign, challenges and options. We'll just turn the master volume down a little bit because things do get a bit noisy. Regular stuff there we your options. So grab buttons is your LB and RB. Shoot buttons are triggers. Our focus button seems to be the right stick. So you can hold the grab button to drop a weapon and the drop weapon will reload on his charge and podium. Now we do believe this is game as came out in VR and Xbox doesn't have VR at all so it's been tailored for the console and the control pad. We'll have a quick look at the campaign, I think. So, we're on the fourth millennium. So, nuclear fallout has driven the human race underground, leaving behind a hostile virus to play to its host. Don't let your enemies get too close. We're going to choose our weapons. Submachine gun. I think we'll have two of them. I think we'll have four of them. <laughs> you choose your difficulty. Um, easy, normal, hard. Purpose of our video, we do it on easy so we don't die a lot. Because the last thing you want to see is us dying. And you get a bit bored of that. So hold the wire button on there to start it off. Like I say, it's the first time I've ever had hands on with this. I don't know what to quite expect. So it's Jump complete. wave based. So again, as we know, we can Press our grab buttons to cycle through our weapons. So let's see how we get on. So 
So we're dual wielding. That seems to be a pod. Wave complete. Prepare for next wave. That's wave complete. We can't actually move out of that pod. We got ammo counters. Ooh, some crazy dogs there. I'm just gonna blow them up. Uh, so what I did there was I held the RB button, it dropped a weapon, and then I was allowed to pick another one up. My aiming's terrible at the moment. Uh, so we reach the checkpoint. Not quite sure how many waves are in a particular level, but we'll soon find out. So the only thing I need to get used to at the moment is the swapping out of weapons. And what I did there, I've just shot a big shiny orb. It's creating a slow motion effect. It'll slow our enemies down. Up on those light red bubbles. Boom! Just like that. Wave complete. Prepare for next wave. green bar at the bottom must be a health indicator for the pod that we're in. Swap out some weapons there. If you're used to dual wielding games, you should get on alright with this. Complete. Prepare for next wave. I keep jumping back, <laughs> expecting the uh, creatures to be attacking me, but they don't. So obviously, we're protected with the pod. Staircase there. No matter what, I'm over again. I'm over again. It looks like the Blue pods will give you, well the blue 
little circular sections will give you fresh ammunition and weapon. Uh, when your ammunition is depleted with the red ones, you have to wait a while for it to reload. success. Time zone cleared. That's that one unlocked. So a new weapon unlocked looks like a shotgun. So we've got some new challenges as well. So we've got 69 kills, no deaths. Uh, accuracy 0%. Well, I can quite believe that. <laughs> 22 headshots. So we can go to the suburbs now. And this way we can choose different weapons. So if I keep a submachine gun on and shotgun on both, um, usually an indicator of higher level bosses is a more powerful weapon. So I don't know. Don't even know what to expect on this one. Time jump complete. So oh, six bullets each on the shotgun. Shields full. Again, we're just in our little pod. Can't travel around the map. Wouldn't mind playing this in VR. Wave complete. Prepare for next wave. Shields full. Wave complete. Prepare for next wave. Find it a little bit strange how you get the checkpoint, but then the wave's complete anywhere. Try and save some of these red barrels for any sudden influx of enemies. like the shotgun. It's only, it's only limited to six shots. That back a sec just to charge itself up. That's working well if you just drop your weapons before your wave completes. You're then ready with a full recharge for your next wave. Time paradox detected. Time for paradox. That's our orb if I can aim for that. Why is it not let me shoot it? Time 
mission failed. They just died on that one. Agree with observation that if it was Time more motion, if we could move about, it'd be a lot better. This, um, as they brought it to console. Some big maybe boss type enemies are there. Out of ammunition there. The only thing you gotta be wary of just your your ammo count going down. Success. Time zone cleared. Now we've got new weapon unlocked there. The dogs are very hard to see attacking the pod. Because they get that close to you and you just see your bit of damage coming up but you don't actually see what's causing it. So we'll have a look in the sewers, um, swap out the shotgun. Seems to have a bit more damage on that one. Right, so we've got some radioactive waste. It's red bubbles again. Right, so they're coming quite quick this time. Shields full. That's a better weapon. A bit more power to that one. Shields full. Wave complete. Prepare the next wave. So again, I'm just dropping my guns before the wave kicks in. Give them a full recharge. Maybe we should have picked uh, four of them guns up actually. Cool. 
wave complete, prepare the next wave. Dogs it's a bit of a menace because they come quite fast and you don't really expect them. Like they're uh, attacking the pod and I didn't really see them. Right? A lot of ammo, gotta be quick with this. That one down. Charge up. Ammunition for one of them in there. So as you get more enemies on the screen, they're coming a bit thicker and faster. You've got to keep a track on your ammo counter as well. Wave complete. Prepare for next wave. down time there to try and take these out. Do some environmental kills now. That's a big one. Mission 
mission success. Time zone cleared. So I've got another new weapon. More challenges, more perks. Didn't die that time, so that was alright. Accuracy is a little bit better than last time. So we're going to the warehouse, we'll have a look at this. I want to keep my machine guns because I get more ammunition in them. These good guns though, however, are quite powerful. As you can see, you've got your damage written. That's only rated a 20 damage. Um, which is significantly lower than the Sparrow gun that we were just using. And less powerful than the submachine gun sort. We'll probably just keep what we've got. So we know our enemies are getting a lot bigger, so I have no idea what to expect on this one. I do like that gun. <laughs> when you hear the ka-ching, that means you got a headshot. Wave complete. Prepare for next wave. Shields full. So this game is a bit of a change in direction for Wales Interactive because they usually do the full motion video games. So you've had late shift, the bunker. <laughs> them sort of games are quite enjoyable. So this there's a bit of a change of direction for them. Shields full. I was expecting to see dogs there jumping at me. Speak of the devils. Oh, quite a few of them this time. Oh, 
time paradox, we can slow things down if we can keep quick enough. That's it. Just want to slow down. Don't change the weapon. Wave complete. Prepare for next wave. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Hit the uh, time freeze paradox thing, and I was at a checkpoint. So it was wasted, really. I'm expecting to see a big boss on this one. Some sort of big monster. Focus again. We've got time paradox. We'll try and get that one very quickly. Mission there. Mission success. Time zone. Is that it? I expect, I expect it's somewhere bigger there. Never mind. So again, a new weapon. I'm going to have a quick look at the dinosaur section, as he got four sections to do, um, and then I'll leave it after that. We'll see what this weapon does. Oh, damage 140, that's quite good. But what I might do is keep the machine gun, swap out the sparrow, I'm just going to have a mixture of weapons just to show you what each one of them do, just for this particular level. So we'll do the first five waves, and then I think that will give you a good enough look at the game. Complete. So we're in the jungle. We'll take one of them. We'll take one of our newest, no we won't. Get one of our new weapons. What is this? There's a different environment is going to bring us different cool. enemies. This one has flying creatures. Shields full. Wave 
complete. Prepare Shield for next pulled. wave. I'll have to look into the different unlocks, weapons. I'll post them on Twitter when I find out what everything is. Oh, here comes the dinosaurs. Going all Jurassic Park on us now. Wave complete. Prepare for next wave. Shields full. Shields overrun. Time zone overrun. Mission failed. I just got destroyed there by a dinosaur. Shields full. Try that again. Time paradox detected. It's these little creatures you gotta watch off on the jungle level. Definitely true to say, easier to hit a bigger target. Shields full. So I just missed them. Shields full. Wave complete. Prepare for next wave. So after you kill the flying creatures as well, if they've spat off something towards you, it's still going to attack. She 
feels full. Wave complete. Prepare for next wave. Uh, it's a wave five. We'll see if there's any bigger dinosaurs come with this one. Quite a few of them. Here they come. Shields full. Detected. She is full. Starting to get used to the ammunition count now. What's that sticker sauce, is he? Triceratops? Mm -hmm. So I've got a feeling that when we get to the end of the jungle, um, which I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna cut this. Fairly short. Mission success. I can Time imagine that there'll be a T-Rex on this. That looks like some sort of sniper or assault rifle. That. Um, so we've been doing that on easy, just for the purpose of the video, and just to give you an idea of what that looks like. Um, like I said there is medium and hard as well. If you can beat it on hard, we were very impressed. So if you if you pick it up, just show yourself how you get with that. We're going to cut it there. However, uh, I definitely want to thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Remember, we're always active on Twitter at xpm underscore network. Come chat to us daily. Also, look out for some of our latest giveaways. We're currently giving away a few digital Xbox One codes. Now, I'm not going to mention titles at the moment because obviously that changes from a day to day, a week to week basis. And depending on when you watch the video, you might not be entering the competition for the one that's current, but just keep an eye out for that. Uh, so, once again, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. And until next time, we'll catch you soon.